this is Grizzly. Um, Grizzly was brought in as an owner's surrender. Um, I know that they had reported that he had not done great with other dogs. In this stressful environment, he's had a couple of like little interactions where like clearly he was stressed out or the other dog was stressed out. But overall, he does he does okay with dogs. I mean, he needs a proper introduction. He is such a sweet and such a smart dog. We like to joke, um, I don't know if you noticed, but he only has one eye. Um, so we joke that he only has one eye, but he doesn't miss a thing. Um, he's super observing. Grizzly, sit. Go boy. And do you know Paw? Paw? Good paw, Grizzly. Good boy. We don't really get the opportunity to practice <laughs> all of those tricks with them all the time, but the really smart dogs like Grizzly, they remember it even if nobody's asked him to do it in months and months and months. Um, but Grizzly, I know he had an issue with his eye where I think he had like an ulceration on his eye um, and they opted to actually have it removed, so it was quite a big surgery. Um, and he, he doesn't seem to let it affect him at all. I mean, he still goes about running around, playing, having fun, socializing with all of the other dogs. Um, and he really likes his toys, probably more than any other dog here. He loves to toss them in the air. He loves to collect them in his bed. Um, he has his own little stuffed animal collection. Um, he's pretty good about not destroying his toys too, which is nice. Um, I have dog. I have dogs at home that have um, a whole bunch of toys that they just shred into pieces. Grizzly actually likes to keep his nice and orderly and have them close by his bed. Um, not sure what kind of dog Grizzly is. He's definitely like a good shelter mix, but I think he's got a solid amount of boxer in him. So I think anybody that has experience with boxers as a breed, I think he would probably be a good match for them. Um, and boxers steal a lot of people's hearts, you know, for a lot of reasons, so. But he is fully available, um, available for adoption today. Um, the only thing I would say is if you have another dog at home, you'd probably want to do a meet and greet first. Um, he does really well with female dogs, um, more gentle dogs, things like that. Um, he tends to be a little bit pushy, so if somebody had a pushy dog at home, they would probably want to to do a, a nice slow introduction for them. So I always let people know, you know, if you if you can make room in your house, Truthfully, even if you just have like a crate and you say, hey, I work all day, if you're able to let the dog out of the crate, give them a little bit of love at nighttime, that's more than what they have here. Here they are by themselves most of the time and get minimal interaction with us because we're just so busy and we have so many animals. So if you think that you're not able to give your animal enough time or enough of your like, you know, devoted energy or whatever, I can almost promise you it's more than what they have here. So giving them the opportunity, that chance, even if it's just for a week to get them out of the shelter. Um, if you can get them out of the shelter, even without the intent of adopting them, just so we can learn more about their personalities, see how they do at home, how they do with other dogs. It's all information that can just benefit them in the long run so that they can find their way into a perfect home. So I let people know, you know, foster is a great option.